Good morning, everybody. So I am sitting here waiting at the library so I can get some books. And uh, it's a little different than I usually have to wait at the library. I had to call and, and or I had to email in and make an appointment to, um, to pick up the books. And I had to uh, uh, go online to order uh, order the books. Um, uh, but, you know, it's, it's just a reminder of the things we're doing to try to protect one another. Um, I don't want to get sick from the librarians. The librarians don't want to get sick from me and then spread it around to a whole bunch of other people. Um, it's just like going to, uh, to a restaurant or something to pick something up and all the <coughs> people in the drive through are wearing masks and covering with hand sanitizer. And when we get back together for church, it's going to be different too. Um, you know, churches are, are planning on getting back together, but you know, we're probably going to need to wear masks and use hand sanitizer. And a lot of us will roll our eyes and say, oh, this is ridiculous. But you know, we as, um, as the body of Christ are called to love and protect the, um, to protect all of us, but especially to protect the most vulnerable. Um, we are supposed to uh, humble ourselves to uh, do what we can to protect those who are uh, more vulnerable, not necessarily more fragile or anything like that, but just more susceptible to being sick or being um, treated unjustly. And so, yeah, we have to make changes. And that's that's what we we do. We um, we respond using our faith uh, in ways to make the world better for um, not just us, but for those who um, those who really need to be protected. So let us remember that that <clears throat> when we are asked to do something that we might think is silly or is ridiculous, um, that we're not doing it for us. It's not about us. It's about protecting one another. So let us now go to God in prayer. Glorious God, we give you thanks for this day, and we pray that uh, you be with us in this time of change, that even though some of us might find these changes ridiculous or overblown, that uh, that's not the point. The point is that we change so that our family, our brothers and sisters and kin in Christ um, may be protected. <coughs> and we are to think about them as we, uh, as we go about these days. We pray that you just be with us and watch over us. We pray all this through the power of your spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, <coughs> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.